GarageBand could be overwhelming, but in its most simplest form, it's very basic. When you open up the app, look for a plus sign in the upper right hand corner of the screen, whether you're in Browse or Recents. Once you click on the plus sign, you'll have to be prompted to start building your musical track. There are many instruments to select, but select Audio Recorder and click on the little microphone that says Voice. Before you start recording, in the upper right hand side along the ruler, click on the plus sign and then change that from 8 to automatic. Then click on the highlighted blue metronome to deselect. Click on Fun and then from Fun select Clean and now you can start your recording. After a 4 second build up, you're ready to go and start talking away and it'll record what you'd like. Notice you could have fun sounds to your voice if you want. You sound like a robot or sound like you're talking on a telephone. Once you finish your recording, you'll press stop. To add more tracks, click on this logo. Here it'll change your view and in the bottom left hand corner, you'll click on the plus sign to add another instrument or another vocal track. For this, I'm going to add some violins, maybe even a little bit of a cello. You'll press record, and right now it is recording synchronously with the voice recording that I've just had. You'll see how this makes sense when we change the view back by clicking on that same icon. Here we see the two tracks side by side, and if you click and hold and drag, a portion of the track you can move where it is in the timeline. You can also click or drag the ends to change the length of the clip. To share, you'll then exit out and then select by just tapping once onto the song and click share. We'll select song and we're going to go in the upper corner and select share. Here I'm going to choose iTunes. Now it's in my iTunes library and ready to share.